Greetings, thank you for joining me today. It's been an interesting week here in the UK with the general election being fought and won or fought and lost, depending on whose side you're on. And I think it's it's been interesting because we've seen a lot of people come out of the woodwork and, and show their true colours. Now, there have been a lot of parties in the mix for the general election. There always are. Um, but the two core ones we're going to focus on today, which is not to... Um, not to cast any shade on any of the other parties because these guys have been elected um, for good reason in their areas. But just talk about the Conservatives versus Labour, OK, just to keep things simple. Now, the Conservatives, having been in power for nigh on 14 years, um, wasted a lot of opportunities. And it was interesting to see some political um, representatives of that party actually come out and admit it. Uh, notable one, Suella Braveman actually apologising at uh, the announcement of her retaining a seat, uh, apologising for a party not listening for 14 years, which is interesting, although it rings a little hollow, rather like a child that apologises, uh, but they're really only sorry they got caught. Um, disagree? Agree? Well, put it in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. But, yeah, if if really if really she was sorry if really she was sorry uh, then uh, she'd have effected change within the party and made sure things moved forward rather than being the uh, rather nasty piece of work she she turned out to be over her political life so far um it, she said a lot of nasty things a lot of things relating to immigration and um yeah i'm not a fan i'm not a fan but it was it was pleasurable to see her, her admitting, <laughs> saying sorry and admitting they weren't listening because, well, we knew they weren't listening, but it's nice to hear it, isn't it? That'll be sound bites for decades. The fact is, though, they don't listen. They don't listen. They're not for the common man, they're not for a woman or whatever. They're not for someone who works. They are for people who are earning generational wealth. People who have investments, people don't do a day's graft, really, not in the traditional sense. It's people who have investments overseas, people who are never going to be taxed as the common worker will. And you might say, well, I earn a lot of money. I'm, uh, surely the Conservatives are for me. Um, <laughs> no, they're not. No, they're not. If you're earning, if you're earning, whether you pay yourself, whether you work for yourself, whether you work for somebody else, if you're earning and you see money taxed at source, um, the like as not, they're not for you. They're not working for you. They are really only interested in the general generation, generational wealth and protecting their own interests. That's been seen time and time again, especially over the pandemic. Yeah, I'm still saying it. Yeah, I'm still saying it. And I still think it's worth fighting the good fight and making sure just because we've got a Labour government in power doesn't necessarily mean things are being going to be perfect. Um, far from it. Um, we have a new party in place and we have a new set of MPs, um, the, the cabinet. Uh, what's the, uh, what have they been called by one of the newspapers? Um, Storm Troopers. Yes, it's Keir Starmer's Storm Troopers. But a lot of competent people by the look of it who hopefully will do a very good job in their various areas. But we're still watching. We're still watching because we've got high expectations. And we certainly don't want to see a bunch of self-serving politicians you know, going about and, and doing things that are generally against the best interests of the people. We don't want to see politicians who sit there saying, isn't it wonderful that we've got food banks? Uh, because it shows how giving a nation the UK population are. And no, no, what we should be seeing is a politician sitting there saying, well, whilst it's nice that some people can afford to give to food banks, we shouldn't have them at all. We should have a political system that allows everyone to earn enough so we don't need food banks. Uh, think back to the 70s and 80s. We didn't have food banks because we didn't need them. Things were better. Uh, so we need to push back to a situation where people can earn enough to live. It's not hard. People are trained long and hard for the jobs they do. So they should be able to live on the wages that, that are paid. Which means... I'm not saying wages have to go up. Because if wages go up, it forces uh, suppliers to charge more. It encourages, rather, suppliers to charge more. If you turn around and say to energy providers, oh, we're going to subsidise every every constituent in the country so they can afford the massive energy bills, the energy bill providers, uh, the, the, the third parties that provide the electricity that sell it on, will go, cool, we're going to charge more then. 
and they'll keep doing it just to see what the government will respond with. Uh, so, um, yeah, we don't want to see any more politicians like that. Anyway, moving on. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll, you'll have seen me rant on about people with no principles. Uh, I like people who can decide the principles and stick to them. Um, you know, reasoned arguments. I'm not necessarily going to agree with you, um, but it's nice to see people who can stick to the guns. It really is. And the election brought out a whole bunch of people who don't stick to the guns. People who flip flop. Uh, career politicians. Now, there's two sorts of career politician. There's the one who has a set of principles and sticks to them, joins the party and sticks through that through a whole political career and makes us has a good go at affecting good change for good in their area or the general uh, country. And you see those all over the world. Great politicians out there. And then there's the other sort. Uh, the other sort, the uh, the Donald Trumps of this world, the Nigel Farages of this world, who are quite prepared to say what they need to say and uh, align themselves a bit with a political party or a set of um, perceived principles in order to get elected, in order to seek power. And really all they're after is the power, not necessarily affecting change for good, because, as I've said before, they are only in it for themselves, only in it for the, um, themselves and anyone like them, so the... Uh, fantastically rich you know if you are the sort of person who uh, has a private bank account there's nothing wrong with having a private bank account if you're extremely wealthy that's that's something you can have and that means you have someone at the bank uh, looking after your interests or looking after your account personally rather than being down to ai again i think with ai getting involved but the the fact is these people have a lot of money and they're willing to do whatever they can to hold on to it but the career politician doesn't garner my respect um, because a lot of the time they don't have principles they stick to. They just don't. Um, they will flip flop. And we've seen um, we've seen Nigel Farage particularly flip flop and do whatever he can. He would love to be the leader of a party, any party. Um, now, I, as many who say, well, he could be the leader of the Conservatives. Yeah, but. You don't have to be particularly talented to do that, it seems. But um, I'm not sure that would be good for the party as a whole. Um, having seen, I'm not a conservative voter myself, but think about it. You know, think about what the party wants to represent. He doesn't represent uh, conservative values, core values. He represents himself. Um, and the same can be said of him leading his current party again. Um, are they working together or are they just in it for themselves? Don't know. Anyway, I look forward to the next couple of years. See, see what see what's going to happen. See if any change happens. Hopefully it's all good. Hopefully see an improvement to the NHS. I mean, that's one of my core beliefs. I believe that the government should make sure that um, taxes are right and services are provided the services we need to keep things safe for everybody and that means that the ambulance service the fire service uh, local authorities and especially the national health service is in place for the people that pay for it and it keeps the country running what we don't want to see is massive profiteering off the back of the taxpayer that's not fair not fair at all Anyway, whatever you do, have a cracking good day. See you soon. Bye for now.